Morning world, welcome to, it's Monday, Monday the 10th of January. Um, apparently I'm still under orders to take it easy, I'm not allowed to do anything um, strenuous until the doctors had a good look at my um, scan results. So, so we're going to do some non-strenuous things this morning and that includes, I've got three, three jobs to look at for the county council and Mrs P is going to come with me for a bit of company she's got a few hours off of work and she said she'd like to get out of the house for a bit that's what we're going to do when she gets here Well, that was exciting. We went, strayed, looked at trees, and came back again. And just dropped Mrs. P off to pick at the post, and it looks like we've got a load of parcels. I'll go and give her a hand. I can't push it back, you have to push it back. Get back in there, go on, back in there. Back in there. We even need another bungee on that. You've got to stay in there. Bad enough having one dog in your UD. We're four now. Right, so. Okay. <laughs> when are the floods coming? It's that time all our dogs need jabbing. You've got to stay in there. Stay there. I do not want you in the front. No, please don't. I can't cope with her. Those bungees across her may not work. You, have to cross, you should have crossed her. You should have crossed her. Do you know what I mean? She's not going to come for any further. That's okay. I'm not holding my breath on anything. Like that. Pepper, you stay there. Well, we've got plenty of time. What's that? Was it 20 past? 25 past. 25 past. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. But what we might have to do is when we open the boot, I think we might have a couple of escapees trying to bolt, so I might even try and put her lead on. Yeah, through the window on there. this side. Yeah. And, um... Don't kill the horse. There's a hossie. A shaved horse. Shaved? It's clipped. Clipped, yeah. You don't shave horses. No, not give a shave to them. Well, unless you're French. French might shave horses, but we don't shave horses. So. Skin them, don't they? <laughs> they do skin them, yeah. <laughs> then they eat them, yeah. yeah. I know, basically, I, I can't just just bear with us. Don't push her off. In theory, she was sat up there. Who was? Biscuit. Who was she? Yes. Mm. You throw up, you throw up down the other well, I remember when we brought her back from Wales, no. she was a bit sicky. No, I remember. When, no, she's trying. No, no, not on me. She um, was. I had a bug in my knee the last time they went for jabs. Do you remember right? Did you? Yes. They hurled it. That is even. They hurled. Pleasant. It was not pleasant. Like a hero. No, I'm glad I didn't feed him. No, that was a good idea not feeding him. Yeah. But biscuit, stop being so blooming possessive. So it's my car. Stay there. You're sick in my helmet, dog. I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> right, where are you going? You're going right for Kate. Seems more interested in the back window now. No. Just 
just a bit sad. I was hoping he was going to make it home. He was away when I picked him up. So, well, no, he was actually in the middle of the road. Um, he probably got hit by another car. No, he did. I'm pretty sure he'd already been hit by a car. But cause he's so small, I didn't actually see him until he was almost on each sort of literally jumped up in front of my car, went over the top, but he only just touched the windscreen. So I thought, oh, maybe we can get away with it, but he's actually expired now, so. Poor little bugger. <sighs> Don't get to see him very often. Mm. Oh well. Never mind. So cheers. Right, so the saga of the left leg continues. Um, I hadn't heard from our doctors by lunchtime, so I messaged my doctor. I'm fortunate that I've got his mobile number. Um, I don't normally contact him through that, but like he says to me, quite often for him it's actually easier for me just to send him a message. He can then <clears throat> reply when he's ready or not busy. And sometimes it's better for him even than me make an appointment to go and see him because he can just, if I need a repeat prescription or something like that, or if I have a question, he can just answer it when he's, when he's ready. So I basically said to him that I was still on the blood thinners. Um, I'd had the scan, they hadn't found anything. Um, and what was his advice as to can I go back to work normally? Can I just no go back to normal? <clears throat> normal. So uh, the message I've got from him was to stop the blood thinners immediately because he's now thinking it may not be a blood clot. I'm assuming, and it could be something else. I've got to go and see him at six o'clock. So um, just be down, check the cattle. Everything's all right. Everything's done. I'm happy outside. Not worry about anything about there. Um, dogs are all jabbed now, so the vets wanted to keep Pickle. Apparently, um, when Pickle went in to have her jab, she actually sat on the vet's lap and gave him a big cuddle. And he basically said, I don't want to give her back. I want to keep her. We said, sorry. We saw her first. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going back to the doctors. Um, pain in my leg is, most of the day, it's not been too bad. But it seems to get worse if I get cold. Um, and I was stood outside for half an hour with the dogs while they were waiting for them to be jabs, jabbed. So, um, and on the way home, it was quite painful. So, also on the way home, as you would have noticed, we picked up a passenger. Um, it was a little snipe. I never saw him until I was that far, he was in the road. And he literally just leapt up in front of us and just rolled off the windscreen. Now, I think he'd already been hit by another car and he was stunned. Um, so we stopped and I ran back and picked him up uh, with the idea of bringing him boat home, warming him up. Didn't feel that thin. Um, and seeing if we could, you know, warm him up if he was stunned, just to help him out a little bit and then maybe let him go tomorrow. Unfortunately, he didn't make the journey home. He's died. So, don't get to see Snipe and Woodcock very often. Um, I really like to see them. We see them rarely down on the golf course because they're quite often around the um, streams, of any water courses, they're a wading bird. But yeah, he didn't make it. So, yeah. Right, okay, I'm gonna upload tonight's videos now and then I'm gonna go see the doc. And if I've got anything interesting to add to what I don't already know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you.